We are still going to face the ugliest of all debates. Because this country is on a terrible trajectory right now as regards how we discuss what government can and cannot do. We have a great debate in America that is unstated. You never hear it discussed as such on national television. You never hear it discussed as such on radio unless, on the rare occasion, you may tune in Tom Hartman, who actually does go to some of these issues. A handful of other people do. But it's so rarely in our major media that we don't get there. That is the debate between austerity, austerity, the lie that says we all must sacrifice to have a just and functional society, or even to have an unjust and dysfunctional society, versus accountability. So let me scope that out for a second, and it brings us to the Wisconsin struggle. Austerity, austerity says we're broke. Now, I realize it's a little hard to imagine. Because if we're so incredibly broke, how do we keep paying for those wars? Right? Yeah. Yeah. If we're so incredibly broke, how do we keep bailing out those banks and all those big companies? And if we're so incredibly broke, how do we keep coming up with new tax breaks for billionaires and all the We have never been broke. The only thing that is broken is our sense of priorities. Yes. Yes. It's a broken sense of priorities. In a country this wealthy, if one child, one child, goes hungry one night, but we live in a country where the better part of 50 million child children go hungry at some night in every week. Yes. This is an insane construct. It is a construct that is completely and irreversibly immoral. Yes. And we have to be comfortable using the word immoral because it is immoral for one child or <laughs> But austerity says that child is going hungry is a little large. Got it a little too easy. Because we're broke, you see. And so we're going to have to have shared sacrifice. That means everybody's got to give up a little. So if you're the hungry child, you got to give up a little bit more. And you got nothing, but you still got to give up a little bit more. If you're the person who wants to go to college, but your parents weren't wealthy, you know, they, these guys are attacking Pell Grants. They're attacking basic access to higher education in this country. They're saying that if you can't afford college, you got to give up a little bit more. If you're unemployed, you live in a deindustrialized community, the factories close, there are no opportunities, and you have, uh, you've lived out to the end of your, your unemployment benefits. You're at the end of your business. And you've, got, you've got enough left. You've got to get a little bit more because it's shared sacrifice. Shared sacrifice means shared suffering. Yes. The problem with that concept is that there's never ever in the history of the world been shared sacrifice. <coughs> there has always been a lie that says poor people got to have a little bit more money up in that redistribution of the wealth upwards. We got to move a little bit more money for the poor because heaven forbid that some wealthy person might have to lay their head down on a pillow that is, does not have a 400 credit card. <laughs> heaven forbid, heaven forbid that you must drink Merlot when there are many fine wines that could be imported at a high price. <laughs> fine Germans. <laughs> this is the madness of the moment. Because, of course, the church sacrifice always comes down to the course of court. So what's the alternative to shared sacrifice? What is the alternative to austerity? It is accountability. Accountability says there's somebody out there that's got the money. And we ought to have a piece of it. I know that's a complicated concept. <laughs> for members of Congress. That's why we got someone going out there to fix things up. Because there are many members of Congress who just cannot get that through their head. Some of them are called Democrats. Yeah, right. yeah. So this is a problem. Let's, let me try to make it simple for you. Some of you have heard this analogy, but it is so important that we will repeat it. You've got a jar of cookies on the table. 
Okay? The jar of cookies is full. Mom says, nobody eat any cookies today. All right? Because we want to save the cookies for later. Everybody's going to have a cookie for dessert. You come home, the jar of cookies is empty. There's not a cookie left. There are dozens of cookies there, but they are all gone. Mom says, I'm sorry, no cookies left, shared sacrifice. Everybody's got to give up. Everybody's got to surrender because we just don't have any cookies here. Smart kid says, well, hold it. There are a lot of cookies this morning. Yeah. I didn't need any cookies. Why do I have to sacrifice? I want to know where the cookies are. I want to go find the people who took all the cookies. And I want to take some of the cookies back so I can have dessert tonight. Yeah. And we have a happy little concept called a financial transactions tax that goes in yeah. the calculators and takes the cookies back. It is so easy. It is so easy to get the resources to balance budgets and to do the things that are needed to do in this society that is absolutely a form of madness. People will look back on this era and they will say, those people believed that they had to give up their cookies? 